I want to give you a quick shot here about our no input section. Every plant here, although it may look like a weed, it's not. It's here on purpose in the no input section. So we believe that uh, in every nation, especially towards the tropics and the warmer zones, that there are a list of plants that you can grow. You drop the seed or the little seedling in the ground and it loves, it thrives on stress. No water, no plant food, nothing, but it still produces a harvest. We got a ton of trees and stuff back here. Um, Moringa is huge. Plantains, bananas, papayas. We do nothing and yet these plants bring us a harvest. Now right down here, if you can see these little plants, look how tiny they are but they are cranking out a harvest. We're getting a bunch of these ready to go uh, right now. And this is a he um, criollo, a he criollo. And uh, there's another one. I'm not sure what it is. It's redondo, it's round. Take a look here. It's gorgeous. And these things are loaded with nutrition. These plants thrive in stress. They don't, they, if I put them in the greenhouse, they'll grow huge plants and no food. But when the plant thinks it's dying, it throws off seed and it creates produce saying, go my little children, create little plants of your own. I'm dying. I'm, I'm under great stress. And it just produces and produces. So I wanted to encourage you, if you know of places, especially in the third world, which are struggling and the struggles about to get worse with the breakdown of the food supply, the fertilizer shortages and everything else. Find the list of plants that these nations or these people that you know, whether they're missionaries, community leaders or wherever they're living, if they'll find these plants, take an open field, something that's not being used and start planting these plants. No input means no input. Put the plant in, let the, let the uh, sunshine and let the rain give it its water and then the stress will produce massive amounts of nutrition. This is perfect for indigenous and for those that have no money. Now, when I bring an indigenous out here and we show them our greenhouses out there, they go, oh no, that's hundreds of thousands of dollars. We could never do it. It, it. We're out, we're out. But they're not out when it comes to a piece of land and, and some of these no input foods. Make sure if you are in the third world or if you are anywhere close to those that are suffering and struggling, find the no input fields and get this stuff planted now. Time is short and you need nutrition coming your way. Thank you.